Hello friends, uh, let's see multiplexer today. So here is a multiplexer and um, it has been constructed using 4 NAND gates and OR gate and 2 NOT gates. And these 4 are uh, sources and these 2 are select signals. Um, on the basis of which one of these four inputs will be selected and displayed at the output so uh, a multiplexer is a digital switch and it allows digital information from several sources right here you can see several these there are four sources in this case and this multiplexer allows a digital information from several sources to be routed onto a single output line so here is a single output line y right uh, and the selection of a particular line selection of either d0 or d1 or d2 or d3 is controlled by a set of selection lines and here s0 and s1 are selection lines uh, so uh, there will be generally 2 to the power n input lines and n selection lines so if here you can see two selection lines and there will be 2 to the power n means 2 to the power 2 that gives 4 input lines right uh, so let's run the circuit and see what happens so uh, let's see its function table first so here is the function table and you can see for 0 0 we d0 will be activated and for 0 1 d1 will be activated and for 1 0 d2 will be activated and for 1 1 d3 will be activated so let's see mm. so here uh, since select signal both are 0 right so d0 will be activated here you can see changing d0 also changes the output and none will change the output right so there's no change and no change right so for 0 1 this d1 must be activated right see and none other can change the output right so let's see for select signals 1 0 for 1 0 this d2 will be activated see and for 1 1 uh, this d3 will be activated So uh, that was a multiplexer and I just showed you how it functions. I'll be back again with uh, a demultiplexer. Um, till then, thanks for watching my video and bye.